Okay, I'm going to assume that I'm recording. I always have to assume that. But uh, sorry for running a little bit late today. Um, uh, you'll probably end up watching this after the fact because um, I'm uh, it's a 5.15 and I was supposed to start this at 5 o'clock and I didn't. So uh, my son's been sick today. My, my youngest has been sick. So that kind of distracted me and threw me off all day. So that's why um, you've got me on the computer out in my living room right now instead of in my office with a nice microphone. Hopefully you can hear me and everything goes well. Um, but I did want to go through a, a quick view at um, multi-remote. And this is probably going to take a couple of sessions. I'm probably going to come back to this next week, or not next week, two weeks from now um, in the next video and uh, cover this some more. And you're going to hear my son talking to me in the background because I think he's probably confused about what's going on. Anyway, what is multi-remote? Um, I don't know too much about it, actually. I've, uh, I'm familiar with the idea, which is, I, I did turn on that light. Yeah, uh, you're going to hear me talking to him as well. Um, <clears throat> the idea is to have multiple browsers that you can run your test on, and then in those browsers, you can get results from each of the tests. So it's a pretty neat little way to test out certain things. Um, for me, I, I, I was thinking about this <clears throat> and what I want to test. I'm also sick, so that's another great thing. Um, and so I'm, I'm drinking a little... Uh, uh, I'm drinking... Oh. Whole family sick. Whole family sick, right? Okay. Um, I opened up Google. I wanted to look at um, an online game called Spyfall. and see if we could write a uh, multi-remote session for it. So Spyfall is a neat little game. Um, I actually have the full board game. If you give me just a second, I'll show you what it is. I turned on his light, didn't I? Okay, thanks for your patience. This is Spyfall. It's a fun game, fun, fun, fun game. Yes, and um, in it, this is going to turn into a game review. Um, you have these little cards, and each card has its own location. Um, you have a set of cards. You deal them out to everybody. It's a multiplayer game. Um, so each location, um, somebody's either going to get a location or they're going to get a spy card. Um, all the locations are the same in, in, in a single deck. So you're either a spy and you have no idea where everybody else is, or you're everybody else, and um, you don't know who the spy is, but you do know the location where everybody is. So uh, with Spyfall, the objective of the game is if you're the spy, you want to figure out where the location is. And um, there's all of these locations that you can get into. Uh, there's things like the space station and the zoo and the university, the theater. Um, so yeah, if, if you're the spy, you want to figure out where the location is. Okay. Okay. You want that light on? Okay, you can do that. You need me to help you? Be right back. Anyway, as I was saying, so if you're the spy, you want to figure out where the location is. If you're not the spy, you want to figure out who the spy is. Now, the way that you go through the game is you ask questions to people and uh, ask questions to different people. Any question is open. Um, you can ask them anything from like, do you come here often? How's the weather? Why are you here? Things like that. Anything to help give clues to where you can figure out who the spy is, but um, the spy can't figure out where your location is. Or if you're the spy, you can figure out what the location is, but you don't have no, you don't have any idea where the location is, and so um, because of that, uh, you have to ask very vague questions. So I'm going to set up a game, and I will open a new browser, and let's see. So enter my name. There's Bob, and there's Joe. Let's call him. Pam, and we've got another one, and then let's just open up a third one. We can keep adding on to this, and um, 
Diane's gonna join as well. And this is enough people for us to start. So we're gonna hit start game in my different tabs. And oh, <clears throat> one is the spy and one is not the spy. And um, here you see Bob is the spy and you don't know where the location is. And there's eight minutes to go. Um, it's counting down. And you need to pick a player to ask a question to. You see here, uh, Pam is not the spy, but they know the location is the hospital. There's also these roles that the people can take on. So here, uh, Diane is not the spy, location is a hospital, and there's a role of a doctor. So if I'm Bob, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna ask, oh, oh, I guess that's like a reference thing. You are the spy, okay. Location reference, so in here, um, I guess they don't have ways to ask questions. So this is pretty basic. Um, you would do this, um, you would do this over uh, a chat session, uh, preferably video chat, because you really need to be able to see what's going on. So um, in it, you would kind of go through and you'd say, okay, um, as the spy, I would ask a question for, I'd pick Pam or Diane, and I'd say, uh, Pam, uh, do you come here often? And as Pam would answer, she's a therapist at the hospital, and she'd say, I'd get fired if I didn't. So uh, as the therapist, you know, she's saying that I come to the hospital fairly often because, you know, it's part of my job. Um, or maybe that's a better better answer for Diane to say. But anyway, so Pam answers it. It gives, uh, doesn't really tell the spy anything, but maybe helps Diane figure it out. And then Di uh, pa Pam would ask next, and she would have to ask Diane because you can't ask the person who just asked you. And so uh, Pam would ask Diane, uh, let's see, they're at the hospital, they'd want to um, they'd want to ask something hospital related to kind of clue in that they're at the hospital. And um, so let's see, we've got uh, Pam said, Pam asked Diane, I'm, I'm terrible about coming up with with um, you know ideas uh, and questions and it's it's really hard and it always everybody makes assumes that I'm the spy because I can't come up with a question but let's see so Pam as a therapist says um, something did you did you see that last case um, and the doctor would reply yeah that was pretty disgusting S and from there, you know, did you see that last case? Well, that could be like the police station, uh, but then the doctor replied that uh, that it was pretty disgusting. So maybe it's probably not the police station. Um, it's not a Crusader armory, like where all the different places a case could be. Well, hospital is a big one. Um, movie studio, maybe. Service station, maybe. Trying to think where else. I mean, bank like a suitcase. But at this point, the, the spy would have a pretty good idea that it would be the hospital. And so the spy would say, I think I know where it is. And they'd say, it's the hospital. And then um, the spy would say, yeah, or everybody would reveal that it was the hospital. And um, from there, they would... Um, <clears throat> ah, from there, they would... Uh, say, yes, it's the hospital, and the spy would win the game. Otherwise, if the spy said, I think it's the passenger train, then everybody would reveal that it's the hospital, and the spy would lose. If this counter gets all the way down, and the spy can't guess, then um, uh, I think it's a draw. And then there's also a time when anybody can... You, you need me to check your temperature? You need to check my temperature. How is it? It's, it's good. My temperature is better, so we're good. Uh, the the clock can pause. See how I pause it any time. When it's paused, that's when people who are not the spies get to decide uh, who they think the spy is. So Pam could say, I think Bob is the spy, and then it would go around as a vote, and you'd have to have a unanimous vote. 
Um, this is basically turning into uh, a talk through Spyfall and not an actual demo of multi-remote. And I think that's because I'm sick and my son's sick and it's kind of a bad setup. So I just want to lay the ground for next time uh, when we actually get into multi-remote. But um, I will show some basic multi-remote stuff while we're in here. Let's see. So... In my configuration file, I will open in here. Um, let's jump into my example. I don't want to have to install anything, so I will jump into the sample directory. Ah, sample. Actually, I want to do sauce. Well, no, I think just a, a plain sample because it would be fun to see all the different browsers pop up. Uh, uh, and then in here, it, let's see what's in my package JSON. I've got my test script set up. I've got all these different reporters set up. I'm trying to figure out what I did last. Um, it would be nice to upgrade to 4.5.2. So uh, I'm going to do that. Oops, keep doing the wrong thing. Um, npm install. Uh, let's see what that does. That should update my WebDriver IO version, uh, which is why I opened this up is so I wouldn't have to update it. Anyway. Uh, let's open this up, hide that, and get to test. Uh, this is my sample. Oh, this is my login sample. Maybe this isn't a good option, but let's see what these say. See what we have in our test. Um, I really should have just created a new directory. Oh, well. What I'm going to do, I'm going to close all that out. I'm going to create a new file. Uh, let's actually do it through here, test slash multi-remote. Um, and probably what I'm going to do is next time, um, I'm going to create a whole new directory, have all the dependencies installed and everything, so we don't have to worry about all this. But uh, I'm going to add to my configuration file. What is that? Okay, in here under capabilities, I will just replace this. Right. There. And uh, with this, does it go in capabilities? Yeah, it does. Okay. And let's try this sample out. And that's about all I'm going to do today because um, I want to save the good stuff for later. Whoops. Okay, so in there it should do something. So, drive. that around and then I will go to uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna create an, our game entirely ourselves and then in, in here we'll hit end game um, as part of the test but I want to go to there and then um, I'm gonna wait to go here it should Allow us to create a game. Should allow others to join the game. My son is going through the checklist right now. Uh, and then I'm going to click the new game button. So i got to figure out what that is from an element selector standpoint. Um, button new game. I love when things have IDs. It just makes things so much easier. Uh, I'm going to do turns browser, my Firefox browser, and browser compared to my Chrome browser. I think this needs to be my Chrome browser and not just browser.url. I'm not sure because I haven't done this before. 
So this is all new to me, but um, my Chrome browser dot click new game, and then the last thing I want to do is I'll log out the browser or my Chrome browser URL. Back. And then uh, we're just going to skip this test for now. We'll get back to that next time. Oops. Uh, and just make sure that at least this works for us for now. Um, okay, so I'm going to come in here. Before I do that, I'm going to come in here and see if I've got a Selenium standalone. I do have it set up, so it should run. Um, there is a base URL in here which I could use, but uh, I'm just going to load the URL manually myself. Okay, now back to here, at npm test. Mm -hmm. Some reason it can't find that service, so we're just gonna install it. My son wants to read a book. You want to read uh, just a little critter collection? That's what you want to read? Huh? Okay. Um, I, I'm gonna have to go very soon because the sick kid is requesting, and I can't get this to work. So you don't want to watch me work. Uh, you do that. But anyway, that's uh, that's what I'm gonna be taking a look at next time is getting this set up. Um, I'm just gonna create a new re repository so that I'm not messing with this old one that I haven't figured out before. Um, I'm going to check real quick if there are any questions on the stream page. Well, no. Uh, I'll worry about that later. Oh, he's got a poopy diaper too. Whew, that's wonderful. Um, even though I have a stuffy nose, I can still smell that. Anyway, um, this is what we'll be getting into next time. So if you uh, didn't watch this, which, you know, you've obviously watched it if you've heard me talking about it, you probably don't need to know too much about this. Um, so I'll get into that in two weeks, uh, and thanks for listening along. Here's the inception.